Hey guys, it's Phoenix, and if you're a fan of explosives, you're gonna love this video. Uh, this concept I created is probably one of the coolest concepts I've ever created. So sit back, relax, grab some pomegranate juice, and enjoy. Alright, so where do we begin? First of all, let's summon an explosion with our rocket launcher. The explosion will now rise up about 30 blocks, and actually let's bring it down a little bit more. Alright, cool. This is the remote control part, where I can actually control the explosion in any direction I want it to. The explosion will... Whoop, what was that? You can see I'm controlling the TNT's movements. So I can control it to make it go east. It's going to go and break straight through this hill. Actually, we'll bring it down a little bit. Alright, now we go. Well, there we go. <laughs> 1.8 chunks are still loading, I reckon. Uh, Alright, there we go. The TNT has gone straight through the hill. Actually, let's bring it back west and try and go straight through the hill again. So you can see I'm actually controlling where this uh, TNT is going. I can essentially terraform this entire hill if I wanted to. Let's bring it back north. Let's <laughs> killing all the pigs. Go straight down to bedrock level and straight back up. So back down. Uh, let's bring it south break through the hill again. So yeah, this is a, it's actually very useful. <laughs> uh, but again, it's such a cool song. It's such a cool concept. I can con basically control this TNT and move it wherever I want to and it will it's a forever under my control. Coolest thing is I can also summon a second one. So where is it gone? Somewhere there. Like that and let's try and get both of them in view. Uh, there we go. I think I see it. Uh, there we go. Alright, now we have two explosions and it's so laggy. Uh, let's stop like that. And yep, yeah, I can control both of them at once. It can be possible to control them independently, but I didn't do that in this video. Uh, and yeah, bam. <laughs> uh, the other one's gone, but I think it's over here somewhere. I don't know. Anyway, to kill them, all I need to do is just hold barrier block. Uh, I could imagine actually doing this in extreme hills biome, actually there'll be probably more destruction. Alright, so let's try and uh, do this with two explosions and bring it up. Alright, much more laggy when controlling two explosions. But again, this is just a remote control concept, you can now control explosions in 1.8, how cool is that? Bring it south and they'll go straight through the walls. Yeah, it's like a hell raider. All right. That's my concept. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'll probably won't explain too much of it because uh, uh, it's really easy. I might I'll just give you the world download actually if you want to try it out yourself. So I'm gonna kill the explosions. Just look at all of that destruction. It's a really cool terraforming tool if used uh, accurately and stuff. But uh, I'd imagine you'd be using this for like your destructive means or some evil plans. I don't know. But yeah, <laughs> I won't go into the command blocks at all. Actually, I think I'll probably leave a world download for this for you to try out. But again, uh, it's it's a really simple concept, but so cool. Uh, it just uses player detection uh, for item slots, selected item slots, and uh, you can take a look at the command blocks yourself. Uh, it's not too much at all. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this concept. It's really really cool, I think, and hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for for more uh, for more creative content. And thanks for watching. Take care.